All right, guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday night in the pink team call. Super excited to have everybody with me tonight. We do these every Tuesday, so you can just put them on your calendars and know this is what I like to call, you know, kind of like our water cooler time. We are all running our businesses out of our houses, um, and this is a really great time for us to really to be able to come together and to share and to see each other face to face which is why I love Zoom, because I can see all your beautiful faces. Hi, everybody. So thanks for not turning your cameras off, for those of you that didn't. Um, so yeah, so you guys, um, I do see some new people. You know, We're always adding people to our team, and we're always growing and evolving. So if you guys don't know me, um, my name is Dawn Andrews, Emerald Ambassador. Just real quick, started Plexus in January of 2014. Um, you know, I've had amazing health results, amazing opportunities also like I I'm all in y'all just love 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 Plexus and I'm here absolutely for anybody that's on this team that is ready to go forward and loves Plexus too. so even though you um might not be necessarily like what we call on. one I forgot to mute you guys hold on let me do yeah that. I want to pick up my some tennis shoes hold on guys sorry Don right. that's okay I just forgot to mute everybody that way there's no, I hate doing that because I like to be able to talk to y'all, but for background noise, I kind of have to. Um, anyway, so that's me. I've got five kids. Um, I've always been a stay-at-home mom. Now I'm a work-from-home mom. That's why I, I love this business because I hadn't worked in 10 years and was able to kind of fit this business into being a full-time mom. Um, I work my business mostly at night and always have as my kids, you know, after I go to, they go to bed. So it's a great way to really do life the way that you do life. And this business fits into the nooks and crannies. And so it's a super... It's an incredible opportunity and really the sky's the limit. So if you're just getting started, um, I challenge you to really just open up your mind and dream big because you're in an incredible spot. You have an incredible gift before you and it's just a matter of opening it up and really running with it because it will absolutely change your life if you let it. Um, and like I say, I've said this to my team all the time. I feel like everybody that's here on my team has absolutely been prayed for. Um, that's been my kind of my the way that I've always done business since I started because it's always felt bigger than me and I've always been sort of like not sure how to wrap my hands around the whole thing so just asking God to to bring the people to the team that um, are should be here and supposed to be here and then continue to um, you know just pray that the, the the hearts and the minds will be open to the people that this could really change their lives so you're in a good spot you guys um, real quick, we are a part of a much larger team, the Destination Diamond Dream Team, which is run by my sponsor, who is Celeste Gwynn. Um, it is a team of about 30,000 people. It is the most successful team in the entire company. And our kind of direct upline, who is Celeste, is in fact a double diamond, the most successful person in the company. So we've got great resources and great training on our team. So anyway, if you're new, you're in a good spot. Um, real quick, I like to kind of go over announcements. Um, we just had a really awesome training event this past weekend. Thank you guys, all of you guys that were there. I think that it was just a true blessing and really learned a lot from the jewels that came in from out of town. So that was great. We do do those trainings quarterly. Um, so we will have one probably again in the end of, or in July. I know that's not really quarterly, but we're going to do, we'll do like one in July and then probably one in the fall also. So we can, well, We'll get those on the calendar. Um, and then we don't, as far as I know, have a lot going on for the rest of the month of May, if I'm mistaken, or if you have an opportunity event that you're planning, if you'll put it in the chat section, I want to make sure everybody knows about it. Um, but then we have convention coming up June the 12th. So everybody's kind of getting geared up and ready to go to Las Vegas for convention. And we'll come back with lots of fabulous knowledge to share with everybody. Um, Okay, so let me get going. We're kind of this month, we decided to go back to what we call back to the basics because in our business, it's really easy to kind of kind of get you know so much information and information overload and then sometimes with too much information and such that overload, it can kind of paralyze us into not knowing what to do. So wanted to kind of this month is all about getting down to the bare basics. And the bare bit, knowing the basics and becoming a master of the basics is what will make you successful and will keep you moving daily and moving towards the goals of building your business and really sharing Plexus. Um, this, everything that I'm going to share tonight comes out of the Getting Started Guide, which is this. It's the new ambassador guide. If you're a new ambassador, you've joined since January, then you have this. It came in the nice little box when you joined, over here, see the box? 
Um, if you are not, if, you, if you've joined before January and you don't have this, um, I encourage you to try to get your hands on one. They should be available in the back office soon. Don't think they are yet, but that's where I'm getting most of the information that I'm talking about. It's a fabulous resource um, and just really good information. So let's talk a little bit, you guys, about social media. Um, it is covered pretty in depth in, the, in, in, in our guide. I love that our company, um, you know, we are a very new company. Um, and so uh, to me, it's a little bit, the, the way that we market our business and the way that we do our business is much more cutting edge in that way than maybe some of the older network marketing companies that you might be familiar with. I've actually talked to some reps from those other companies and they're so used to that sort of old school party method and, and doing the, the parties that they're, they're kind of dabbling in social media and trying to use social media to build their businesses, but really haven't mastered it yet. And what's cool about our business is we kind of grew on most people that are successful in this company actually grew their business on social media, not because it was like, um, a, a, a certain structure in place, but mostly because it was more of a, an organic way to share. Um, and so you will find that most of the successful people in the last two years have in fact really figured out how to effectively use social media to absolutely build their business. Um, the one thing that we probably all use mostly are going to be Facebook and now really getting more into Instagram, especially with the younger generations and what we call like the millennials. They do a good job with, with those things and also Snapchat. But I'm going to focus um, in the beginning tonight on Facebook because that's where a lot of our business comes from. Um, if you'll think about social media and you'll think about using your Facebook, it's really like if you don't use it, let's say someone says, you know what, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way of calling people up and, and really talking to them one on one. That's awesome. And we absolutely have to do that. But it's kind of the difference between using a fishing pole to catch fish or using a big giant net, right? You're going to be, you have a lot better success rate of getting a lot more fish if you throw out a big net rather than sitting on the boat with a fishing pole. And so that's kind of how you can think about social media. You're really, it's a way to really get to a lot of people at one time. But here's the thing. Facebook was designed and is all about relationships. It's all about connecting with people. It's all about friendships and people being social with one another. And so it's very important when you sort of bring Plexus to your Facebook world that you always keep that top of mind. It's very important because people love you. They're friends with you. These are people from your high school, your college, your mom's groups, your church, and you know that you've been friends with them. They're interested in your family. They're interested in your life. They're interested in what you're doing. That's why you're friends. And so it's really important to kind of to, to kind of maintain that. Um, and then flexes kind of becomes a part of your life too because you're excited to share. Um, so you, you know we never want flexes to kind of take over and all those other things not be talked about anymore. Um, now maybe you're thinking because this is this was me. I was a mom of kids, and so I would go on, like, prior to Facebook, I would go on Facebook, I mean, prior to Plexus, I would go on Facebook, and I would, like, occasionally kind of post about my kids, but I was always like, do people really care? You know, I don't really, I, I wasn't, like, a big, huge Facebooker. I just wasn't. I would watch other people and kind of check out and see what they were doing, but I didn't do a whole lot. Now, what I did do is when I started to realize that I really was serious about my Plexus business and understanding as I looked to the people that were my mentors, how they were, how they were building and how they were successful. I saw that they were successfully building their businesses on Facebook. Um, and so I wanted to know, like, if they did that, then obviously I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to do what they do. And so it's kind of taking that I might, people really don't care about my life mentality and kind of putting that aside and saying, okay, I'm going to really put myself out there and put, you know, and, and invite people into my life basically and invite people to come on a sort of a journey, a day to day journey. Um, and that's sort of, you know, because that's about, that's that relationship thing. The more that you kind of put yourself out there for people to know you and know what you're interested in and know your family, know your kids, know your dog, know your sports team. The funny things, you know, if you've got a little bit of a, you know, a, a certain sense of humor, kind of bringing people in to really get to know you. And so you kind of do have to be intentional about that in a way. 
Um, you know, if that's not already what you do, some people are, are, you know, already do that all the time, but being mindful of it, um, as you're sort of build in, inserting your Plexus business into your Facebook is, is, is important. Um, because it, here's the bottom line, people, we all have the same products. We all, we, we all offer the same products. We all have the same website. So what's the difference is people, you want to build a certain trust with people because when they buy or they join your team, they're buying because of you. They're buying, they're joining your team because of you. Yes, the products are wonderful, but there's also lots of really, I mean, there's lots of great products out there. People have thousands of choices. So when they come to you, it's because they trust you. And so you, as you're thinking about using your social media and using your Facebook, you want to constantly be mindful of building the, your, your own sort of brand to build the trust for your audience. Um, so what you do, you know, is you continue to post about all of the things that you love and invite people in, but then we flex this into your post. So, you know, most of you guys, I'm looking at a lot of people on here are already really great about this. You know, I'm going to the gym, you know, Missy's going to the gym. I loved it. I think yesterday it was really cute. She had a picture of her with her Plexus water bottle and she's going to the gym and talking about how much energy she has to be able to go work out. Bam. Great. I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's an awesome post because people are seeing her happy. They're seeing her healthy. They're seeing Plexus. And the thing is, is, you know, Facebook, when you put something out there about Plexus on your Facebook, you're, there's, I wouldn't, there's no, you shouldn't have the expectation that that's going to sell your product. It absolutely isn't. All it's going to do is rate really ways to raise awareness um, of what you're doing. And so people are like, Oh, Missy's, Texas, you know, and I wonder what that is. So they might like, somebody might think, I wonder what that is. Somebody else might be think, Oh, you know, I saw somebody in my office drinking Plexus or about Plexus. So they, you know, it's like another hit. And then maybe if they're really interested, they might reach out to Missy and say, Oh yeah, tell me more about it. Likely they won't say anything at all. And it'll just, you know, go by the wayside. But then the next day, Missy posts something else. And she talks about how, you know, it helped her how grateful she is at three o'clock that she didn't have to go for a diet Coke because now she's kicked her caffeine habit. Thank you, Plexus. So then the next day she says something about Plexus and then maybe that same person that was like, Oh, that, what is it? You know? Oh wow. It helps with caffeine. You know, it helps kick a soda addiction. And so then they might reach out or they might comment. And so you have to be really, um, sort of mindful of what you're posting and being super consistent because you are, you're building your story. You're creating a story um, and you're building your brand all the time. And so you're going to hear it over and over. Consistency is so very important because, you know, if you post that really great picture going to the gym with your, your plexus on Monday and then you don't do anything else until the following Monday, people forgot that that was an, and not only did they forget, it didn't become, it wasn't sort of top of mind for them anymore. Um, it's just, you know, it's not there. It's not going, it's not going to, it's not going to build the consistency and build the awareness that you need for people to really identify with, um, with what you're doing. You know, I always think about like, for example, a good example, hold on, let me get some water. Mm is like Coke, you know, Coke or Pepsi, you guys. Like everybody knows what Coke and Pepsi are, right? I mean, they're the biggest brands in the in, in the world, really. But how much advertising do they do? Constantly. They're constantly all over billboards, they're constantly sponsoring things, you see their ads everywhere. Why do they do that? Because they're they know that they have to keep their brand top of mind. They have to keep it out there in the public. Even though they're the biggest in the in the world, they know that that's super important. And so you have to be mindful of you know thinking that way too. You have to keep your Plexus brand top of mind for people, or they will very very quickly forget. Um, and so every single day, you know, weave Plexus into your post. Um, yeah, and this is really funny. I thought this was funny. It was in the book. <laughs> I read it. Um, it. It says general guidelines for posting. When you're posting, ask yourself, is this something I'd say to someone in person? Interact with people online the same way you would in person. You wouldn't chase someone down the street waving a slim pack. Um, so don't cyber chase them by bombarding with constant plexus posts. I thought that was pretty funny. So, you know, be thinking about that when you're, when you're deciding what to post. Um, okay. 
Um, all right, so let's talk about a little bit. Um, this is really cute. The, I mean, we had a training this weekend, and one of our jewel trainers um, talks about being a super friend, which is the same idea. She just has this really funny way of like thinking about how you, how do you build relationships online? Think about yourself being a super friend, and what that means is you you go out of your way to create connections and relationships with people in your Facebook on your Facebook friend list. So for example, whenever you have an when you have an opportunity, when it's someone's birthday, you don't just say happy birthday or just ignore it, but you actually go to their page, you find a cute graphic, you post this really cute happy birthday graphic and you say, you know, like three lines. You do a little you do better than everybody else that wishes them a happy birthday. So that's your goal. Your goal is not to just be a friend on Facebook, to be a super friend Friend, and super friends go out of their way to be nice and it's not that it's fake and it's not but it, I mean we're not asking anybody to be not authentic but you just go a little bit you'd be super and everything that you do so when someone posts something about their kids you comment and I mean you're you know that's a cute thing to yourself oh that's a cute kid or oh that's funny well, you go out of your way to go to their page to comment to again not just one short word but like a couple of lines um and maybe ask them a question maybe like you know i miss you we should get together of course authentically mean it um so that's what you want to think about as you're because again you're building trust with people you're making connections and so that's how you do it not just a friend on facebook but be a super friend um so if you're just getting started with Plexus, let's say some of you are kind of new and you want to think about that sort of initial, you know, what do I initially say to people? What is my initial Facebook post supposed to be? Um, so let me tell you, there's a few really good ideas in here in the book. Um, let's see. Here's one. Hello, everyone. I've been using Plexus products for a while now and couldn't resist taking the plunge. I totally believe in the products. If you haven't heard of Plexus, all I can say is wow. Okay, that was just a few lines. It was quick. That person, you could take a selfie with the Plexus products. You could take a picture of it on your counter or something. It's just really quick. Nothing in depth. You'll notice that's not, you know, trying to go out and list a bunch of ingredients or scientific studies or anything. But just to kind of, you just want to grab people's audience. And here's the deal, guys. Again, using your social media is your billboard. It's creating awareness. It's making, it's putting it top of mind for people. Um, but that's just one tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of the puzzle. In order to be successful getting customers and team members, you have to then be a, a master at either reaching out to people one-on-one -on -one, um, and then also follow, being really great at follow-up. Okay, so for example, anybody, if you put something out there that's Plexus related and they like your post, they didn't comment, they didn't say anything, they didn't reach out to you, they just like it, well then you, you wanted all those likes, you go to their personal messenger and you say something like, thank you so much, I noticed that you liked my recent Plexus post, thank you so much for supporting me, that's something I'm super excited about, I would love to share more with you. Um, if you're interested, if not, thanks for your support. Okay, that's it. That's And so I, I know that when I first got started and I was just sort of generating a lot of excitement about it, that was so huge for me. I got so much business off of just doing that. Anybody that liked my stuff, going to them and reaching out to them. And so that sort of going personally to people is really what's going to make you successful. It's, the, it, it's really the key. Um, and then when someone does say, yes, send me more information, well, they've opened the door. They're a hot prospect. They're somebody that you absolutely, um, you, you, they should absolutely become a customer or a team member. Then it's your job to provide the information that they need to, to really make a good decision. So you, then at that point, you want to be asking really great questions about what are your health um, concerns? What are your health goals? How can I help you? Tell me, you know, you want to get as much information as you can from them. And then your job is then to provide the information that speaks to them in such a way that says, yes, um, this might work for me. Because that's ultimately what people want to know. They want to know, is this going to work for me? What's it going to do for me? And so in your follow-up, that's what you're really trying to do. You're trying to answer that question, telling them what it's going to do for them. And you guys, when somebody, when you're talking about health and wellness and you're talking about something that might help 
I mean, somebody, you know, initially most people are interested in weight loss. You start to, when you start asking good questions, you start to get more information from them. You start to realize all the things they're struggling with. But if they think, you know, if they're like, wow, it, it could help me lose 10 pounds, like it helped her. Wow, it could help me get rid of my migraines. Wow, it could help me not be, you know, so tired at three o'clock or not so crabby with my kids. When people start thinking that way, like, wow, this could really change my life and make my quality of life better. I can tell you, price is not an issue. It's just not because people will figure out a way to buy something and get something that's going to really. To, to, to really, you know, that they really want. I mean, that's just how we are. We, we don't live in a third world country with no money, y'all. Everybody has access to the funds that they, you know, to buy something. I mean, everybody goes to 7-Eleven, you know, everybody's going to Starbucks, everybody's running through drive throughs There's lots of disposable income that people might not even realize that they're, they have. So when you as a, is you, when you as the ambassador and sort of their health coach expert create the value for them, they will find a way. Um, and so I just want to make sure I throw that out there. Um, so in that, you know, as you're using your social media to, to, to create the buzz is really what you're doing and to, and then you're becoming really good at follow up. That's when that, that, that five, three, one comes back that we talked about. I'm going to reiterate it because it's very, very important. It's so basic, but it's so important for your business. Um, you want to have what we call a daily method of operation where you're blocking out time to build your business where you're saying, I'm going to work my Plexus business and it might be for 15 minutes. It might be for 30 minutes. It might be for three hours. That's completely up to you. It's however it works for you. But in that time, you want to make sure that you're doing a minimum of what we call 531, which is reaching out to five new people. So remember, if you're doing a good job on your Facebook, and you're really kind of putting it out there and you're letting people know what you're doing, then you're going to five brand new people. These could be people that liked, remember I told you that, so that could count as your five, to reach out to them and send a personal message to say, hey, I've got something I'm super excited about. I really think it could help you. Can we talk? Okay, five people. The three stands for you're gonna follow up with three people. These are three people that have said, yes, I'm interested. Yes, send me a sample. Yes, they've commented, whatever. So you're following up consistently with three people. And then every day, the number one is you're going to do something personal development. So that means um, maybe listening to a product video. Maybe maybe it's reading through the success guide. Maybe you have a Eric Worre. He's a network marketing professional. You're reading his book. So do something every day to grow you professionally and personally. So that's very important. Um, and, and so that, that really does play into you know, I'm talking about social media, but that's a very important part of it um, in, in growing your business. Um, okay, a couple comments, a couple things about Facebook, specifically how it works. Mm. Facebook has, is set up to be um, very interactive. And so they have these algorithms set up. So when, first of all, just because you post something one time does not mean that every, you know, say you have 500 friends. 500 friends are not going to see your post. Pick, Facebook kind of picks and chooses. It might be that only 150 of the 500 actually see your post. But if you post something and then you get three comments, Facebook, this algorithm's like, oh, what she says must be really interesting. People are interested in what she's saying. So then it expands your network. So maybe the, the initial post only was to 150 people. Then you get three comments and then they expand it out to maybe 250 people. So within the day, more people will start seeing your post. Um, if you get 50 comments on something, then Facebook's like, oh, this is really interesting. And then maybe like your whole audience is gonna see it, okay? So those comments are important for helping your posts get into more people's news feeds. So something that we do as a team is we like to help support each other. You want to help get anybody that's kind of putting themselves out there and, you know, posting about Plexus on their Facebook page. We as a team want to help them get a minimum of three comments to make sure that it gets out into more people's newsfeed. So if you see a Facebook friend, I mean, you see a, um, a Plexus friend and you just kind of go comment something, um, you know, and it doesn't have, you don't have to make it obvious that you're a Plexus ambassador. It could be super, I mean, it could just be like, she might put something about the, the beetroot, let's just say, why the plexus is pink, and you're just like, oh my gosh, that's so interesting, I've heard really great things about the health benefits of beetroot, 
Okay, that was great. That was a good comment. It showed up, but it didn't necessarily scream, I'm a Plexus ambassador too. I mean, you don't have to, I'm just saying, you don't always, it doesn't not. we can make it so um, it's not screaming, you know, we're just a bunch of Plexus ambassadors talking about the product. So, um, all right. You want to always be trying to engage your non-Plexus friends. Yes, when you comment on your own, she just asks, it does, that counts as one. So you can comment on your own, absolutely. Um, always engage your non-plexus friends because the more that you engage with them, the more you're going to show up in their news feeds and, and them in yours. Because again, Facebook is all about trying to create, help create and establish these relationships. So if Hannah and I are always commenting on each other's stuff, then Hannah's going to see more of my stuff than, you know, Jack from high school that I never have any kind of communication with. And that's just how it works. So you want to always be kind of engaged. When you have somebody that you know that these products would really, really benefit, that you have in mind, or somebody that you would love to be doing the business with, be intentional. I mean, you just kind of be intentional about maybe going to their page or maybe really taking a little bit of extra time to comment on whatever it is that they're posting. Um, again, always focus on the relationships on social media and building and connecting with people, not on selling product. Nobody wants to be sold to. People are way too smart for that, and there's too much of it going on in our everyday world. So we do not ever want to come across as salesy. Um, another thing people like to do is like survey posts, you know, like something like, oh, I'm going out to dinner tonight with my husband for date night. Which dress should I wear? You know, like you take two pictures of dresses, and then you get your Facebook audience to like, oh, I think you should wear the red one. I think you should wear the blue one. So like a survey type post that creates kind of a lot of buzz, something really easy. Some people even go as far as like, you know, there's five houses on a pic graphic. Which one would you like to live in? I don't know. I mean, those are fine. You don't want to be – you don't want it to be, I think, so obvious that that's what you're trying to do. So you might want to be a little creative, but create survey posts because that helps um, get your friends engaged. Some ways that you can use Facebook, um, again, to grow your business is we can, you can do a Facebook event. I think they're very successful. They're very helpful. We haven't, as a team, done them in a while. I know Sandy, Missy, I know a lot of those guys that have been around a while have done them. Um, you generally would run it for maybe like a few hours, like say for example, you start at like a four o'clock on a Sunday, you run it till an eight o'clock at night on Sunday, and you just, you invite people to the actual event, and you post about Plexus, you post specifically about products, you educate people, you do some door prizes and giveaways, um, some people even at the very end of it will do like a live Zoom meeting. I highly encourage you to do that, especially if you haven't ever done it or you're looking for ways to, to get business and kind of, you know, get some, get some momentum going in your business. If you'll look in the files section of our team page, we click files, there's a file in there that explains exactly how to do a Facebook event and it actually gives you already pre-done posts, okay? So we can, if you're not sure about that, get with your upline, get with your sponsor to help you. Um, and within Facebook, another great thing, certainly always use Messenger. It's all, again, all about personal contact. So use personal Messenger to reach out to people. It's actually my favorite way of connecting with people. Um, and then also there's this really cool thing called voice messenger. Make sure you use it. When you're sending a message, you'll see a little microphone. And you press the microphone and you hold it down. And it gives you, I think, like 60 seconds to leave a message. Love voice messenger because it's fast. You can do it on the go. And people hear you. That is so much better than people just seeing words. But they hear you. They're like, oh, my gosh, Kelly was so excited. Kelly's like, I'm so excited. I'm doing this Plexus thing I'd love to share with you. They get to hear her excitement. They get to hear her being authentic about it. So use voice messenger. Don't be afraid to use that. Um, and most people don't know about it. And they're like, oh, I've never known about that. That's so neat. You impress people, right? Um, okay. Mm. Just real quick, a couple other things that are talked about in the guide about what social media is YouTube. If you don't already have a YouTube channel, get a YouTube channel. Don't be afraid of these things. Part of this Plexus journey is, the, is utilizing and learning new things. Get a YouTube channel. Don't be afraid to post videos. Also, do a video. Do a why video. We think of, we talk about that a lot. Um, you have never done that why video, and it terrifies you, then you need to do it. 
Trust me. Anything that feels scary in this business and terrifying, that means you have to do it. That's just the way it goes. Because when you do it, that's when you grow and then your business grows. I promise you. I've been doing this long enough to know that that is the way that the, that's the way it goes. Um, any kind, anytime you do do a video, I always recommend keeping them under five minutes. More like three to four minutes is generally better. People have a very short attention span. Just kind of throw that out there. So you want to keep your, you know, you want to keep your audience engaged. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, I do have a few more minutes. I also, in addition to, let's see, I've got some messages before I move on from social media. Make sure I didn't. Um, Dawn, what should I pack for convention? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that was private. That's funny. We'll talk about that later, Debbie, what you should pack. Um, okay, so I'm going to, if anybody has any questions specifically before I move on, I'm going to talk a little bit about events before I move on. If anybody has any questions about social media, you can, you can unmute, which is, would be great. I'd love a live question. Or you can send me a chat. I'll pause for a minute. Usually there's lots of questions about social media. No. Okay. All right, cool. I'll move on. Well, if you think of anything, just send me a chat and I'll try to answer the question. Um, all right. So a little, real quick in this book, I'm moving through it, social media. The um, chapter after social media is all about events and how important events are. We love in Plexus that we don't do parties and we don't hold inventory. One of the things that made me want to become an ambassador was the fact that I thought, oh, I don't have to do parties because I could not, would not like to be going out and doing this. But we do encourage that you do events in Plexus. And here's why. There's nothing more encouraging and nothing more, um, I guess encouraging is the best way to put it. When you hear somebody live, when you see somebody up there sharing their testimony, talking about how Plexus has completely changed their future, their health future, their financial future, you know, that face-to-face -face stuff is really moving. And so getting people together in that environment is just so wonderful for your business. It's great for your business. It's been great for ambassadors. It's great for community, for that excitement, okay? So if you... Um, if you've been, to, I always encourage you, always try to get to the events. I mean, we try to do them throughout the month. You know, we just had a really big one last weekend. Generally, um, teams throughout Hampton Roads will plan them at different restaurants around town. Um, so, you know, be on the lookout for those. Try to get to an event. Those events are always open for your guests. I mean, how much better is it for you to say to your, your coworker, hey, you know, come, let's go get some pizza, pizza at Why Not? And you can learn a little bit more about Plexus. Because then it's taking the pressure off of you constantly, you know, having to educate them and tell them all about Plexus. You're just like, let me just like take them somewhere else and let somebody else kind of tell their story and present the products. And so what a great way for you to build your business by using someone else's gifts and skills and something that they've already planned. Um, so definitely utilize the ones that we already have going um, in our area. Now, I know a lot of you guys are in different areas you know you're across the country so there's events going on all over depending there's different you know different regions have more stuff going on than others so you want to we can always help plug you in you know if you're not sure you live you know you live somewhere else and you're just not really sure how to connect you know we have access to different people and teams nationwide so we'll definitely plug you in your job is just to make sure we know that you want to get plugged in and we'll help you do that um, so we can do that but also, it, you don't, don't always depend on other people. Here's the deal. Doing an event for yourself will absolutely grow your business. And it doesn't have to be a big event. You can do it in your house. You say, you know what? I'm just going to have four or five of my friends over, three or four friends over, come over, you know, try the pink drink. You tell them, I'm just kind of getting started. I don't know everything. So you might have your sponsor come. You might have someone else come and maybe do like the product presentation and do a little bit more. Um, but, you know, just getting people in a room and doing more like sort of just, just a launch event, even if you're just getting started. Like I know I'm looking at Hannah right there. She's just getting started. You know, maybe we do a, we plan a launch event for you and we just invite your friends to sort of showcase your business. Um, and then Missy just put on here that the Holiday Inn is always open for everyone to use for events, which is wonderful. The Holiday Inn is awesome. They do a great job. It's a wonderful location. So 
we have lots of resources for that. But it, you know, it can be in your house. It could be in your church. It could be in a restaurant. Maybe, you know, you just have some people out to dinner and, and so it doesn't have to be a big deal. That's what I want to really make sure you guys understand. It just needs to be you doing it and getting people together. And I promise you that it, you know, whether it be your sponsor that helps you do it or other people from the team, everybody's very, very willing to help. So don't be intimidated. I mean, feel like you have to know everything or you have to be in this business a long time. Um, go ahead and put an event on the calendar and we'll make, you know, help you get there. Um, and then here's another thought. Oh, let me water here. Uh, you know, we, uh, this isn't always, you know, having the mindset of understanding of you're really working your business and you're going to build this business. You're a business owner. Okay. And having that sort of entrepreneurial mindset from the very beginning, I think is super important. And if you were, if you had a business that you started, you would have a grand opening, wouldn't you? You would have a big, it would be a big deal. You'd have like a ribbon cutting, you'd have a grand opening, you'd invite your friends and family to come launch your new business. Do that for your Plexus business. It is no different. Okay. It's no different. So that, um, if you're, if you've never done a launch event, do that for your business. Um, let's see <clears throat> some things as you're getting started for, um, tools, you know, for, for events or, and just in general is you want to have catalogs. Those are good to have. And let me show you, I have mine right here. If you haven't seen the new catalog, they're available in the back office. They've got the new accelerator and, um, they're just, they're very nice, very nice. We have new catalogs. We also now have these available, the opportunity brochures, if you guys can see those. The what if this could change everything. They come in the new ambassador success kit, but now you can actually order them in increments, I think of 25 and 50. Um, you can order those through the back office. If you see your, your kind of main screen down in the bottom, it says myplexusprint.com. You can order that from myplexusprint. Um, these are also available. Let me show you. These are like little sample cards. Can you guys, I don't know if you can see if there's a glare, but they're like little four by six cards and they talk a little bit about Plexus Slim. They have the ingredients on the back. You customize them with your name. You get like a little sticky, like this, a little sticky pad, and then you stick a Slim sample on there. I love these. I always have these in my purse, in my car. Um, you know, sometimes I give away one Slim sample. Sometimes I'll stick like three, kind of depending on who the person is and how much I want to give away. Uh, but I love them because again, you've got your name on them and you also have the ingredients because a lot of times that's a question people ask, you know, like, well, what's in it? And I can say, oh, it's right there. You know, you, I don't have to tell you. So these, again, you can get these in the back office also. So having these tools, um, to build your business is very, very helpful. Um, let's see. And I think that was pretty much to make sure I got everything I wanted to say to you guys, make sure I got through this thing. Do I have any questions? I went through a lot of information and I know I talk fast. I'm sure, I got everybody's questions answered. No? Hey, Dawn. Yeah. Can you um, talk a little bit about setting up a, a page? Mm hmm. What do you mean, like a customer page? Yeah, instead of having putting everything up on your own personal page, have oh, like a, a like a business page. Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. Um. Yeah. I mean, you. It's Facebook is free. They'll let you set up an actual business page, and it's sort of it'll get connected sort of to your personal. I mean, I know, like, I have a business page, and it's like my personal, and then my business page is kind of under that when I look in the look on the the sidebar. Um. The thing about a page, it's great, but you have to have people join your page. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, you have to have people physically go like your page. Um, so that takes a little bit of work to do that. I wouldn't, I, I've actually heard Chris McCall, who's a pretty, pretty funny guy, a successful ambassador says, you know, if somebody only uses a Plexus business page to build their business, it's kind of like a surefire death. <laughs> it, you know, you're not going to get, you're not going to reach who you need to reach and you're not going to effectively build your business with just a business page. So, um, it's good to have it. Uh, I personally maybe post some mine like once a week. Um, because I just find it, it's not as organic. It's not as natural for me because it's not, it's business. And so 
for, uh, this is just my opinion and I'm open to hear with any, if somebody else really effectively uses one, absolutely. But I find that with my personal, it's personal and it's relationship and it's organic and I can just kind of say anything. A business, I feel more um, like I have to be more formal. Like it has to be more structured. And for me, that's just not my, my style. But for somebody else, it might be. Um, I do think that having a, like you could, you also can create different groups. And so you can create like a customer group. Those are really, really effective for people. You can like have your own customer page. Um, I mean, I have one that I started a long time ago and I think a lot of I, people add a lot of people now. It's a really big page. So it's a resource you can use, but it's always good to start your own too. Um, and then of course you can have team pages, which are good too when you start building a team. So we have, I think we're talking about teams next week. So we'll talk about like when to start your team page and stuff. Yeah. Anybody else have a question?